guys, Liam from Zen Yoga Health here. Just step to the front of your mat, feet together in mountain pose, hands together in prayer position. Take a couple of breath cycles to steady your thoughts and set your intentions for doing yoga today. Now when you're ready, let's roll back the shoulders, stretch your arms out as wide as you can, all the way up and bring the fingertips together. And exhale, circle out wide and back down to your hips again. Inhale, circle out as wide as you can. Stretch up, bring the fingertips together. Interlock the fingers this time. Bring your balance onto the left foot and take your right heel to step just above the left ankle or above the left knee. Hold it there, choose a steady focus point. Direct the gaze straight ahead, stretch up through the fingertips. Another good breath in. And then when you're ready, exhale to rest the right foot down, circle your arms back down to the hips again. Steady yourself on the other side. Inhale, stretch your arms out and up, interlock the fingers. Shift your balance onto the right foot and step the left heel just above the right ankle or just inside and above the right knee. Hold it there. Steady breathing. Take the left knee a little outwards. One more good breath in, stretch up, exhale, rest the foot down, circle your hands down. Step your feet a little wider out, inhale, stretch out and up, fingertips together, exhale, circle back down to interlock your fingers behind your back. Inhale, roll back the shoulders, exhale, bend your knees, tuck in the navel, relax into a partial forward bend. Inhale, lift up, interlock fingers down to the sit bones, exhale, bend the knees again, tuck in the navel. Relax a little deeper into the forward bend and continue stretching out the arms. Inhale, lift up again. Exhale and release. Rest your hands down on the knees, bend the knees a little. Inhale, push into the knees, extend your back, lift the head, lift the tailbone. Exhale, chin to the chest, tuck the tailbone under. Inhale, extend your back again, lift the head, lift the tailbone. Exhale, chin to chest and tailbone under. Push into the knees. Inhale, lift the head, lift the tailbone, hold it there, an extra breath this time. Fully engage the extending muscles of the back as you push into the knees. Next exhalation, begin relaxing your hands down towards the shins or the ankles or feet or all the way down to the mat. Bend your knees as much as you like here, keep it easy on your lower back and on the hamstrings. Allow the weight of your head to hang between the shoulders. Now let's inhale, lift up the head, exhale and walk your hands around to the left hand side. Relaxing your chin or forehead down to the left knee and bend your knees as much as you like. Or keep the legs lengthened if you're feeling a little stretchier today. Inhale, walk hands back to center, lifting the head. Exhale, hands around to the right hand side and relax your head towards the right knee. Hold it there. Inhale, walk hands back around to center, lift the head and exhale. Let's step back with the right foot, follow with the left foot, lower the knees, chest and chin down to the mat. Inhale, peel up into cobra, an easy cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift the hips and the knees. Walk out the down dog, or just hold, or add a little strengthening by inhaling to take the hips and shoulders forward into high plank vasasthasana. Exhale, back to down dog. Inhale, hips and shoulders forward to plank pose. Exhale, back to down dog and inhale, bring hips and shoulders forward. Let's hold it a little longer this time. Make sure you're using Uddiyana Bantha by tucking the navel about a third of the way in towards the spine. Engage the muscles of the pelvic floor from Mula Bantha. Steady breathing and push into the mat through the heel of the hand. Inhale and exhale back to downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward. Exhale, follow with the left foot. Forward bend. Inhale, stretch out and up. Exhale, return to forward bend. Inhale, step back the left foot. Follow with the right foot. Exhale, knees, chest and chin to the mat. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forwards left foot. And follow with the right foot. Exhale to forward bend. Inhale, stretch arms out and up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, step back, right foot. Exhale, follow with the left, lower the knees, chest and chin to the mat. 
Inhale, peel up into cobra, and exhale back to downward facing dog. Inhale, step forwards, right foot, exhale, left foot, forward bend. Inhale, stretch out and up, and exhale, return to forward bend. Inhale, step back, left foot, step back, right foot, exhale, lower the knees, chest, and chin to the mat. Inhale, peel up into cobra, and exhale, downward facing dog. Just hold or walk out of your down dog, or to add a little more strengthening, inhale, float up the right foot, exhale, circle the knee under to find the forehead. Inhale, float up and back with the right foot and the hip, exhale, circle the knee under to the forehead. And last one, inhale, float the hip and the knee and the foot back up, hold it there, tuck the heel to the sit bone, lengthen all the way through the hip flexor and the quad, another good breath in, exhale, tuck the knee right under towards the forehead, hold it there this time, use the midsection, use the hip flexor, inhale, lift the foot again, exhale, and rest the knees, chest and chin down to the mat. Inhale, peel up into the cobra pose, and exhale to downward facing dog. Again, remember it's optional. You can rest at this point if you like, or inhale, lift up the left foot. Exhale, circle your knee under towards the forehead. Inhale, lift up the left foot, roll back through the hip, bend the knee. Exhale, circle the left knee under to the forehead. Inhale, float the foot back and up, bend the knee. Hold it this time. Lengthen back through that left hip, tuck the heel to the sit bone, and exhale, tuck the knee under, hold it there this time. Knee to forehead, and inhale. Lift the foot, exhale, rest the foot, the knees, chest, and chin down. Inhale, peel up into cobra, and exhale back into child's pose. Just rest your head down to the mat, hold it there. Steady your breathing. Inhale, return to the hands and knees. Exhale, lower the chest and chin down. Inhale, peel up into cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forwards, left foot. Follow with the right foot. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, stretch arms out and up. And exhale to mountain pose. Inhale, stretch arms out and up. Exhale to forward bend. Inhale, step back with the right foot. And exhale, just hold here in side bend. Relax your head down towards the left knee. Bend the left knee as much as you like to allow your fingertips or palms to rest down to the mat. Optionally, lift up the back heel now, the right heel. Come forward through the hip. Rest the knee down to the mat, lift the head. Exhale, back into side bend. Inhale, come forwards again, hip and shoulder forward. Exhale, push back through the right heel into side bend, relaxing head to the knee. Last one. Inhale, come forward, rest the right knee down, lift the head up, and exhale back to side bend. Hold it this time. Remember that back heel is optionally lifted from the floor for additional stretch into the calf. Inhale, come forward, bending the left knee, lift the arms up into Virabhadrasana 1, first warrior. Hold it there, use your energy locks, push back through the right heel, Lengthen up through the fingertips. Take a good breath in. Now lift up and exhale to rotate back through the right hip. Stretch out the arms for the second warrior pose. Position your left knee just over or behind the left heel. Drop the shoulders down. Look for alignment through the arms from fingertip to fingertip on each hand. Next exhalation, rest the left elbow down to the left knee and stretch forwards through the right arm. Modified side angle stretch. Hold here, direct the gaze up to the right hand. Inhale, lift up again. Ready for Uthita Trikonasana. Exhale, rest the left hand down to the left leg, anywhere from the knee down to the foot or to the floor. Stretch up with the right arm. Remember, our stance is a little wider for this version of the extended triangle pose after our warrior poses. Rotate back through the right hip, stretch up with the right arm. Inhale, stretch up, exhale, replace the right hand down to the mat, into the side bend again. Relax your head down to the knee, 
or towards the inside of the knee if you're feeling a little stretchier. Now let's rest the right knee down. Inhale, lift up, stretch up the right arm. Exhale, cross right shoulder over the left knee. Bring hands to prayer position for the rotating or revolved side angle stretch. Allow for some squeeze of the abdomen against the left thigh. Breathe into that squeeze for an abdominal massage effect. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, rest your hands down. Inhale, step back, left foot. Exhale, lower the knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, peel up into cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forward with the right foot. And exhale, the left foot. Forward bend. Inhale, stretch arms out and up, fingertips together. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch arms out and up. Exhale to forward bend. Inhale, step back, left foot. And exhale, let's hold in the side bend. Relax your head down towards the right knee. That knee can fold as much as you like to make it comfortable on the hamstring on the lower back. Just hold there or optionally lift up the left heel. Inhale, come forward, resting the left knee down, lift the head up. Exhale, lift up the knee, push back into, into your side bend. Inhale, come forwards, lift the head up, rest the left knee down. And exhale, push back through left heel, relax your head down toward the right knee. Last one, inhale, come forward, rest the left knee down. Exhale, push back and relax your head down toward the knee. Hold for a moment before we continue with our first warrior pose. Now let's inhale, bring the hips a little forward, stretch up through the fingertips, shoulders stretching up to the ears, energy locks engaged, push back through the left heel. Take another good breath in as you stretch all the way up, and then lift up, rotate back through the left hip, stretch out the arms, look to the fingertips of the right hand, drop the shoulders down, the right knee is just over or behind the right heel. Another good breath in before we exhale and rest the right elbow down to the right knee, resting in our modified version of the side angle stretch. Stretch forwards and up through the left arm, push back down into the mat through the left heel. Now let's get ready to continue on with our extended triangle pose. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, rest the right hand down anywhere from the knee, down through shin, ankle, foot, or rest to the mat. Inhale, stretch up to the ceiling with your left hand. And if you're steady, direct the gaze upwards to the fingertips of the left hand. Hold here. Take another good breath in to stretch up and back. Exhale to rest the left hand down to the mat, returning into the side bend position. Just relax your head down to the knee, or it might come a little to the inside of the knee. Right knee can fold as much as you like. Rest down the left knee. Inhale to stretch up with your left arm. Exhale, cross the left elbow or shoulder over the right knee. Bring your hands to the prayer position. Push your hips a little forwards again. Push down actively with your arms. Deepen the rotation. Breathe into the squeeze of your right thigh against the abdomen. Inhale to lift up, release. Exhale, rest your hands down. Step back with the right foot. Lower your knees, chest and chin down to the mat. Inhale, peel up into cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forwards with your left foot. Exhale, follow with the right foot. And inhale, stretch arms out and up. Exhale, mountain pose. Bring your feet together again at the front of the mat. Inhale, step out wide with your right foot for goddess pose and wide stance forward bend. Let's begin bending the knees. Inhale, stretch arms out and up, spread out the fingertips. Bend the knees to go a little deeper. Tuck the tailbone under, direct the gaze upwards. Tuck in the navel. Push the knees outwards. Use the abducting muscles of your hips to push the knees out. Sit down a little deeper if you can, strengthening into the quads and glutes. Let's make it one more breath in to stretch the arms out and up. Now exhale to carefully rest your hands down to the floor in front of you. Hold it there 
forward, take a breath in, lift your head, exhale, push back through the hips, so your hips come behind the heels. At the same time, tiptoe forwards through the fingertips, so that we lengthen not only into hamstrings and adductors, but also through the side muscles, the lateral muscle chain. Continue tiptoeing forwards to a comfortable degree. Allow your head to relax a little closer down to the mat. Keep on pushing back through the hips. So we stretch in both directions, back through hips and forwards through fingertips. One more breath. And then when you're ready, let's begin to tiptoe the fingers back in. Lift your head up. Exhale to now walk your hands further back towards the feet, or it might be they come behind the feet. Relax your head down towards the mat, just hold. Make it a restful version of the wise stands forward bend. Prasarita Parupanasana A. Maybe you can put a little weight on the crown of the head if it reaches the mat. If not, maybe bend the knees a little bit so the head floats a little closer down to the floor. No forcing. Make it a restful, resting version of this pose. Inhale, walk hands forward, lift your head up. Exhale, hands onto the hips or the knees. And inhale, lift up, stretch out the arms. And exhale, return back to the beginning of your mat. Ready for garland pose. Step the feet a little wider out so they come out towards the edges of the mat on either side. Inhale, stretch arms out and up, nice and loose. Exhale, forward bend with your hands just inside the feet. Hold it there, or if the hips and the knees permit, take a breath in. Exhale to float your hips down towards the floor. We come into garland pose. You can hold here, resting your hands to the floor, or bring your hands to prayer position. Use the elbows to push the knees a little outwards. Just hold here, or to add a little more emphasis, inhale to stretch both arms up. Try to sit as tall as you can, direct the gaze upwards, and note the effect of the pose on mind and body. Hold here, steadying your breathing. Let's make it one more good breath in, stretch out and up through the fingertips. And then when you're ready, exhale to rest back down to the mat. Take a moment to stretch out through the fingertips. Maybe lengthen out from fingertips all the way down to toes if you like. Now let's tuck in the knees. Give a little rock out and massage out to your lower back before we get ready for our bridge pose. Rest your feet down to the mat close into the hips and a little wide of the hips. Reach down and rest your hands by the heels or if you can take a hold of the ankles then do take a hold. Take a breath in, exhale to peel your back up from the floor. Take the chest up towards the chin. Just hold here or take a step closer into the heels with each shoulder. If you'd like to continue on, release your hold on the right foot as you inhale and stretch the right foot to the ceiling. Flex the foot, push in through the left heel so we keep the extension in the spine. Keep the chest lifting to the chin. One more good breath in, exhale, rest the right foot down. Take a hold with the right hand again. Now you can rest down to the mat here if you like. Once you're ready, lift back up into your bridge pose. If you're holding onto both ankles, let go of the left ankle now. Inhale and stretch up to the ceiling with the left foot. Lift the hips up again, bring the chest up to the chin, push upwards through the left heel. Another good breath in, exhale to rest the heel back down. Release your hold on the ankles rest back down to the mat. Take a moment to tuck your knees in, stretch out your back again, tuck the chin down to the knees, and we prepare now for our shoulder stand sequence. As always, if you prefer, you can do a rotation from side to side. If you'd like to do the shoulder stand, peel your back up from the floor, support your back with your hands, float the toes up towards the ceiling. Imagine the alignment forming from the shoulders through the hips, through the knees and on up through the heels and toes. Hold here or next exhalation, float the left knee down to the forehead or lengthen out your leg and touch the toes down to the mat behind you. Stretch up through the right leg. Half plow. Continue lengthening up through the right foot. 
Take a breath in, float up the left foot. Exhale, rest the right knee down to the forehead, or if your hamstrings are a little longer, stretch the right foot down to the mat behind you. Stretch up to the ceiling with the left foot. One more breath, then when you're ready, let's inhale to float both feet up. Exhale, float the knees to the forehead, or the hamstrings and lower back permitting, float your toes down to the floor behind you. If you like, interlock your fingers behind your back. Stretch your hands down to the floor behind you. Tiptoe the toes a little further away from you. Steady breathing, just hold in your plow pose. Make it another good breath in and then exhaling carefully, unroll your back down to the mat again. And we prepare for our version of the fish pose today, Matsyasana. So for our version of fish today, let's lengthen the legs straight out in front. You could roll the head a little from side to side to keep your neck freed up. Bring your hands down underneath the sit bones. Stretch them down as far as you can underneath you and bring the thumbs together. Eventually, seat yourself down onto the back of the hand or onto the wrist or the forearm. Inhale to lift up on the elbows and tuck your head a little closer into fish pose. Roll back the shoulders, breathe into the chest. Just hold here, or if there's no strain to your back or neck, tuck in the navel, engage with the alabanza, float your feet away from the floor. So you feel the strengthening and tone down to the lower abdomen. Make sure there's no strain to your back or to your neck. Make it one more breath in, and then exhale to lower the feet back down to the floor again. Lift your head up and exhale. Release all the way back down to the mat. Release your hands. Let's tuck in the knees again. Rock out and massage out your back. Roll the head from side to side and when you're ready, rock up into a seated position. Take a hold of the knees. Inhale, draw forwards, arch your back. Exhale, chin to the chest and roll back. Round your back. Let's now step the feet together into diamond pose. About two hand lengths distance between the sit bones and the heels. Hold the ankles as you inhale, come forward, exhale and round back, tucking the navel in. Hold it an extra breath to stretch out your back. Inhale, lift up tall again. Interlock your fingers. Inhale and then exhale to round your back and push forward through the heel of the hand. Inhale, push upwards through the heel of the hand. Lengthen your back. Exhale, Round your back and push forwards through the heel of the hand. Inhale, lengthen upwards, push up through the heel of the hand, direct the gaze upwards, and exhale, push forwards, rounding your back. And inhale, lengthen up through the heel of the hand, fingers are interlocked, remember, hold here, direct straight upwards. One more good breath in as you exhale. Let's reach down with the hands to find either knees, ankles, or toes. Or it might be that you slide your hands in underneath the ankles, take a breath in, lift your head up, exhale, and relax your head down towards the floor or towards the heel or the instep. Hold it here. Just steady your breathing in cobbler pose, Baddha Konasana. Inhale, lift your head up and exhale let's release we prepare ourselves to go into a rotation now so let's tuck the feet into cross-legged pose or easy pose sukhasana take a breath in as you exhale let's bring the right hand over to the left knee and the left hand around behind you just hold here in this easy rotation or to deepen take a breath in exhale Retaining as much of that rotation as you can, walk your hands over to the left hand side. If it feels easy to rest the left elbow down, go ahead and do so. And if that felt easy enough, now rest the right elbow down as well too. There should be a little compression between the left thigh and the abdomen. Breathe into that squeeze, abdominal massage effect. Tuck the elbows a little closer in towards the hip and knee on the left hand side. Inhale, walk hands in, lift up. Exhale, turn to your right hand side. Left hand to the right knee, right hand behind you. 
either hold or next exhalation begin to walk your hands forward over to the right hand side retaining that rotation if there's no strain relax the right elbow down to the mat follow with the left elbow tuck the elbows a little closer into the knee and hip breathe into that squeeze of abdomen against thigh hold it another breath And now when you're ready, let's inhale to lift the head up and walk hands back to center. Exhale, a little counter rotation to the left hand side. Come back to center. And let's release the legs. Tuck in the right heel. Bend the left knee. Inhale to stretch arms out and up. Just hold here if you like, or you can lift the left heel a little, or you could lengthen out the left leg activating the quad so a little more strengthening into midsection good strengthening into the left quad hold it there direct the gaze upwards if you like reach down to take the left foot in both hands float the foot and the knee a little higher and relax your head forwards towards the knee let's make it one more breath as you exhale rest the foot and then the leg all the way back down to the mat Let's take a breath in, stretch arms forward, exhale, relax forward into your, into your forward bend. Relax your head down towards the left knee, or if you're feeling a little stretchier, the head could come just to the inside of the knee. Remember, you can always bend the knee if you're feeling a little restricted in the hamstring today. Inhale to walk hands in, lift up, and exhale, lengthen out both legs. Inhale to tuck in your left heel this time, stretch the arms out and up, bend the right knee. Just hold or float the right foot a fraction from the floor or lengthen out that right leg engaging the quad. Hold and use your midsection, keep your back long and your navel tucked in. If you like, take a hold of the right foot, float the knee a little closer into the forehead, duck the forehead down towards the knee. Make it another good breath in, then when you're ready, just release the right foot and the leg down. Take a breath in. As you exhale, begin to relax forward to your forward bend. Head to knee pose A. If you like, relax the head to the inside of the knee. The right knee can always remain folded. Inhale to walk hands in, lift up and exhale step out both feet let's lean back give a little shake out to the hips and to the legs and now when you're ready come around to the box position let's inhale to float the hips and the shoulders forward into a striking cobra or a striking cobra pose exhale push back into child's pose inhale float forwards through the hips into striking cobra exhale back into child's pose and inhale, float forwards again, striking cobra or cobra. Hold a little longer before relaxing down to the mat. Rest your head to the hands, shake out the legs, the hips, the thighs again. And we get ready for our low plank variation, Vasisthasana. Let's tuck the elbows under the shoulders. Bring the forearms parallel, rest the palms down to the mat. Push down into the mat through the elbows and then at the same time push outwards through the elbows. Feel the stretch and tone across the upper back, float up the hips, optionally lift up just the right knee or lift up both knees. Steady your breathing, push down through the elbows and push outwards at the same time. Tuck in the navel if you are balancing on the right knee, now let's switch the sides, rest the right knee down and lift the left knee. Reconnect in the shoulders and the upper back in the midsection lengthen down through the legs one more good breath in exhale to rest both knees down hips down abdomen down and take a rest breath before we continue with our variation on locust shalapasana so when you're ready let's reach back down by the hips with our hands you can rest the head down to the forehead or peel up the chest and the shoulders if it's comfortable interlock your fingers behind your back take a breath in Exhale and reach your hands down to the sit bones. Float up the feet, 
If there's no strain to your back, squeeze the glutes and lift the legs. Keep the legs straight. Peel up a little higher through the rib cage. Stretch back down with your interlocked fingers to the sit bones and then float your interlocked fingers up towards the ceiling. Let's make it another good breath in, lift up a little higher. Exhale to release and rest your head down to the hands again. Shake out the legs. Hands under shoulders, inhale, lift up to cobra. Exhale, back into child's pose. Just rest, take a rest breath. And then when you're ready, bring your hands down by the legs, take a breath in, exhale, lift the sit bones up and roll forwards over the crown of the head to wrap pose. Inhale, sit bones back down to heels, exhale, massage over the pressure points of the crown of the head, stretch out the back of the neck and exhale, sit bones back down to the heels. Last one, exhale to float the sit bones up, roll over the crown of the head, rabbit pose and inhale, rest the heels, the sit bones back down to heels. Inhale to lift up and exhale, just release. Now you could either stay seated in this modified version of hero pose, sit bones down on the heels or come down into cross-legged pose. If you are comfortable with your legs in lotus pose, then tuck your feet into lotus pose or half lotus, rest your hands down to the knees. Now let's begin to steady our breathing. You can hold here, just focusing to your breath work or get ready for Anuloma Viloma Pranayama exercise, alternate nostril breathing. And if you're continuing with the alternate nostril breathing, let's begin by closing off the right nostril. With the right thumb, rest the index and middle finger to the brow. Inhale through the left nostril for an easy count of about four. Retain for a count of about 16. And then exhale through the opposing nostril for a count of eight. Once you are complete, then we alternate from side to side with an easy count of four, eight, and 16. If this feels a little too much, just be guided by the breath. It could be an even count of four, four, and four, or whatever feels comfortable to you. It might be that you skip the retention, inhale through one side, exhale through the other. Or if you're feeling a little obstructed or congested today, then you could just visualize the breath entering through one side and leaving through the other, always without forcing. So let's take it slow and easy with the breath. The purpose of Anuloma Viloma is to balance the activity of the hemispheres of the brain, or so it's said. So just keep your breathing steady, alternating gently from one side to the other, using the retention of the breath to calm the mind. And if it feels like there's any forcing, then just release, come back to your breath, and when you're ready, begin the exercise again.
So when you're ready, let's complete your final round of alternate nostril breathing. You can release the legs, just lengthen out. And in your own time, just lie back down to the mat into Shavasana. Allow your arms to relax down by your sides. Let the legs relax a little outwards. Make sure there's no tension between the shoulder blades. Relax the shoulders down from the ears if you like. Rock the head a little from side to side. Allow your breath to find its natural depth and rhythm. And then if you like, you can begin relaxing from the head, progressively down to the toes. Just use your breath, use each exhalation to release and let go of any tension, beginning with the forehead, beginning with the jaw. Just allow the exhalation to breathe away any tension or stress. Move down to the chest and the shoulders. Any tension that you find there, just release. And then further down to the abdomen and to the hips. And then moving down to thighs and to the knees. And if there's any tension that you can't quite let go of, don't worry about that either. Just leave it and move along to the next area. Come down to the knees, to the calves, to the ankles, the feet. And now let's get ready to take a stretch out all the way from fingertips down to toes. Good breath in. And in your own time, just rock or push back up into a seated position. Let's bring the hands together into prayer position. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching and for listening. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe, to like, and to share. Thanks so much for watching.